yes my viewers and subscribers welcome back to my youtube channel this um voice note that i'm gonna bring you is from a long-standing pnp supporter and worker who had something interesting to say about the party the state and the status of the party following an exchange yesterday in the parliament between the prime minister's wife juliet Olness as the house speaker and angela brownberg are the opposition it seems as like if, um, I'm really saying anything in Angela spaces like this. It kind of make no sense. came in and raised this argument about the illicit six and she was made to withdraw her statement. So listen to what this man has to say about the exchange in the parliament yesterday. A, a special report is tabled on the matter that the country is waiting to hear, the illicit six. Um, that would come to the house and go order straight or, to no. the... On a point of order, I do not know of what you're speaking, member. It's a... Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know please, please, I please. I I'm not going to say anything locally and politics. In this group or no other group again. I'm going to keep it religious. And I'm going to keep it international in, in, in regard to Bible prophecy. Too many, what you call, um, gatekeepers and police keepers. Right? that find themselves with them peace brain in a politics and some of them who is just hang on don't understand much things in politics i no time for waste with them so i am going to go international but i just find something interesting here is it that there is a attending uh, what you call an uh, uh, upcoming parish council election that will be announced shortly and the country is going to be under some what i call information coming out of the government and the opposition but what the government have effectively done we are into the first almost the second week of november so it is almost soon what i call a break time a holiday period from the parliament and every week the opposition goes to the parliament and trying to pull out of the speaker to squeeze out of the speaker to present the report and she used all kinds of surreptitious means not to present it. The question that I ask, do you really think that the opposition really want to get this report? I don't think so. Because all that they had to say, Speaker, whenever you intend to tender the report, inform the House Speaker and he will inform us and we will come back to Parliament to hear the report. Failing that, we are not going to come back to this House until there is the report presented because i think i heard emily cooks this morning in her what is on her mind presented to the country what the, really the speaker is doing and what she's not doing and what the auditor general has done in terms of the report so what are they sending to committee where the government MPs and are uh, sits on the committee, dominated the committee. You're not going to hear nothing, and the holidays upon us and the election, and you're not going to hear anything because it is just to prevent the information from coming out so that it can get into the public space for a campaign. And they are doing that effectively. What country could you be in? And the Prime Minister is the head, and the, and the head of the party is the head of the executive, and the head of the parliament, in terms of what you say, is controlled by his wife, with a gravel in her hand to prevent what must be said and told to the country. And the opposition continue to go there every week and calling all for the report and there is no response and they continue to go this could never happen under a michael manley or a peter phillips let me tell you something there would be the people who respect peter phillips so much that for him say stand up and say i am not going to accept this you know what they will do they will huggle in our room and say we can't make him say it again to us now because we know what will happen that is a level of respect that was shown to dr phillips in the house it has not been shown today so that is the reason why the neighbor like them is saying to me, and I told me up to today that why I'm saying this. Let them know so the people not respect enough. The man who then respect is not there. And that is the reason why the him side of the so to you know. Because when people don't show respect, it's because they have reasons why they don't. They couldn't try that with Dr. Peter Phillips. So then, we are in for trouble. I know a lot of the gatekeepers and the people who live in the great houses. And wanting to get their way is going to attack me. But do I sound 
in my voice like I really care about what you want to say? Do I care about what your little comments going to be? I don't. I am Gina Jennings of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't kiss men nor give them hickey. Now I have to say that the man has a point because the government side, they are aware that Mark Golden and Peter Bunting them come in and buy the PMP party and therefore they can't get the respect and the respectability of the former leaders and anybody else in the PNP. So it's always going to be like that. But when you have Mark Golding running the PNP, and you see these things now what I'm about to show you, how can they get any respect? People, look at this what happened at a meeting a couple of days ago and look at how they just allowed it to happen. Because you see when you go to church, you have to be of a certain way because you know it's a place of decency. When you go to your workplace, same thing. Look how these people come to PNP meeting and behave. The leadership of Mark Golden. Nothing is sacred anymore. platform all men no women up there when Portia was there those things couldn't happen you know because people know Portia was a woman of class even peter phillips so you know the man is right no respectability no sense of decency and class so the people are going to behave toward these so-called opposition one and few people as just nothing and it's quite sad to see because we want to see a functional opposition it's what a democracy is about Anyway, this is it. Catch you in my next video, okay? Please subscribe, share with your friends, comment and like.